Today, the Erie County Sheriff's Office graduated five deputies and their canine partners from a six week long basic training course. The next step now weeks of training in suspect tracking and narcotic or explosive detection. Meantime, law enforcement agencies say that the number of police canine injuries and deaths on the rise now for some reason. So that's prompted Governor Cuomo to pass a new law allowing EMS providers to use their ambulances to transport dogs when it comes to emergency vet care. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzevon shows us tonight how first responders are being trained. It's a story that's all new at 530. Meet Tank. Closer. He has lots of tricks. Oh, good boy. This town of Tonawanda police canine can do more than the average dog. He's responsible for numerous arrests, probably hundreds each year that we go through. Their service to us is measurable. They um, go where officers can't. But the number of police dogs dying in the line of duty is going up. Last month alone, eight were killed across the country. That's why starting in 2016, paramedics can use an ambulance for service dogs in New York State. On Monday, emergency responders will learn how to treat canines. I could become incapacitated and something could happen to me and the dog might need attention. Those at the training will learn about the anatomy of a dog and life-saving measures. We would assist the, the handler in inserting this tube. Um, it would go in his mouth, down his throat, into his stomach. They'll even get Narcan training for dogs. We've had canines in the past that have gotten into drugs that they're searching for um, and have ingested or inhaled some of the drugs and become intoxicated from that. <laughs> He's back to him. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. For handlers, this training is irreplaceable. Yep. Oh, good boy. He's very close. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's my partner. This upcoming course is already full. It's so popular that organizers are already talking about putting together a second one. In Amherst, Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News.